Hi everybody. Uh, quick editing note, uh, the song featured in today's episode is to pay tribute to a musician and a man who, uh, Adam Schlesinger, who passed away at the age of 52 due to complications from COVID-19. It's, this virus is, is very, you know, it's very difficult and it's taking its toll on the world. Um, I'm not 100% sure or familiar with his body of work, except for the fact that he is the bass player and a co-founder of the band Fountains of Wayne, who also, I only really know one song of theirs, but it's one of my favorite songs for obvious reasons. But then when I did a little bit more research about him, um, I found that he wrote all the songs in, that, the, in the soundtrack for the movie That Thing You Do, including this, the theme song, That Thing You Do. I, you guys gotta look that one up. Um, and I think he's done a lot of uh, 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 writing for songs for TV shows and movies and some of them are very familiar with. Uh, may he rest in peace. Um, this, the, this disease is taking its toll on the world and let's hope that one day the, everybody, uh, that, that this is gonna be resolved soon and uh, everybody stay safe, stay home. As you can see, I'm not in jujitsu attire because today's technique is a self-defense technique that's very practical and also very basic. And it teaches you how to deal with somebody who grabs you by the wrist. Now, pardon my, pardon my explanation skills here because I'm alone and I don't have anyone to do this with or I have no one to grab my wrist. So uh, leave a comment if ever, you, if you leave a comment if you don't understand, I'll be able to, I'll explain it further. So when you're dealing with a wrist, you have to remember, uh, when you're dealing with a grab, with a person grabbing you, you have to remember one thing. This is the hand. When they grab it, there is a strong side and a weak side. The strong side is where the four fingers are. The weak side is your thumb. Because there's only this four, because when you're grabbing it, one side has four fingers, one side has one, is a thumb. So you can see that the thumb is the weak side. So that's one thing you should always remember. The thumb is the weak side. So when you're grabbing, when somebody grabs you at the wrist like this, the movement you have to make is if your palm, if your palm is facing this way, or your, the back of your palm, you're trying to salute your chest. You see that? So when you're being grabbed like this, you salute to your chest. You salute to your chest. It's like salute your chest. Or if you're, or if you want to do it in a better way, if your if your fist is closed, which is probably better, and you pretend that your thumb is up and you're pointing towards your other chest, your opposite chest. It's the same thing for, for when you're the other way around. If this is your, your right arm, you're pointing to your left chest. Your left arm is point, you're using your thumb to point to your right chest. So it's a quick twist because the, the torque of your twist will be towards the thumb, which will break any grip. The, sec, the last thing you have to remember here is that if you are not able to break the grip with that, is that you can always take your free arm and put it on your attacker's forearm and push it while you're making the twist. So the movement is like this, and then your other hand is on his, on his arm and you push. You push and twist at the same time and you can get out of any grip when somebody's gripping your wrist. It's a very basic uh, self-defense technique. It's nothing flashy. Uh, it, it's just the basic self-defense technique that we're talking about here is how to get free so you can run away because in the end, running away from an attacker is still the best form of self-defense. So this is just a means to get free if they grab you by the hand.